Hiring loved ones. Is it a recipe for success or a disaster? Let's uncover the truth right now. I can hear it like echoing, echoing in your, your thoughts, thoughts right, right now. now. Nicole, I've already hired my loved one. Like he is here, she's here, and honey, it's just not working out. It's okay. Listen, from my own journey, I promise you this is not a dead end. I remember bringing someone that I loved inside of my business and on paper, like they were the dream candidate. Like all of the boxes check, expertise check, professional maturity, absolutely. And we even had a pack like to keep work at work and maintain our bond outside of work. And to top it off at the time, I was bringing my baby to work. And so it was so nice just to have the ambience of someone that I loved being there with myself and my daughter daily. It felt good to have support and also that commitment to all aspects of my life. And so in essence, my loved one was the ideal hire. And for a while, it seemed like the perfect decision. And it was absolutely the perfect decision at the time. But the day did eventually come where we approached a tipping point. And it wasn't that anything major happened. It was just our professional paths began to diverge. And so we outgrew our capacity to work together. And we had a face-to-face, -face, like head on, sit down, let's confront the discomfort. And during this difficult conversation, we planned our next steps. Like, where do we go from here? And so here's the outcome. Our bond remains unbroken to this day. And I want you to know why. Because before going into this, we had a blueprint and a system to follow. And so the key takeaway here is that there was zero fallout. Now, if you're in this conundrum, hiring someone close and it is spiraling south, fast, I want you to ask yourself why. Is it a lack of skill set? Is it a lack of willingness? Have you had the conversations necessary? I want you to understand the distinction between these two things because it is pivotal to what you do next. So let's dive a little bit deeper. So if it's a lack of skill set, then that is an easy fix because it's technical and functional abilities. And so does the individual have the training? Does your loved one have the knowledge, the experience to perform the job? And so if there's a deficit in that area, if they're lacking like a tangible gap, then that's something that you can get training for. You can get support. You can hire someone. You can get a course that might just be the bridge. So it's so much trickier though, if it's a lack of willingness. Like this is about attitude, this is about drive, it's about commitment. Does the person want to perform well? Are they motivated? How is it impacting you? You see, unlike skill set, this isn't something that you're gonna easily teach or even instill. This is intrinsic, it's deeply personal, and sometimes it's a reflection of somebody's, like their own values and alignment with the company's mission, and sometimes more often than not, this has nothing to do with you. And as a CEO, it's crucial that you discern between the two. So while skill gaps can be closed with training, a lack of willingness might require some deeper introspective work and possibly some tough but necessary decisions. So here's a word of caution for you as you're listening. While the ideal of hiring a support system that is close to you, be it family or friends, is very alluring, it may not be ideal if they're not the right fit. And as a CEO, your primary duty is to your business's growth, your progress and your mission. And so the family ties, if they're good, they're always going to be there. The friendship vibes, if they're good, they're always gonna be there. But they have to take a back seat in this scenario. You are building a company. So here's a crucial question for you. If you hire your loved ones, can you offer them feedback, constructive criticism? Can you course correct? Can you truly lead them without bias? Or are you just sitting in silence and truly not happy? So I wanna tell you like this can work, but you must choose wisely, you must lead effectively. And remember your business's growth is paramount. So ask yourself the necessary questions and have the difficult conversation. But remember that your business growth is the priority. Follow me for more powerful insights into leadership. Until next time.